Greetings, welcome to Raw Tarot Reading. I'm your tarot reader Ra here. Thank you so much guys for joining back with me for another short reading that I'm intended to do for you guys. So today's reading is going to be about what do people say the moment that you leave the room. So as usual guys, I already pulled out three cards. We're going to be pulling out more cards later on. So if, if possible guys, try to meditate before you select or if you are good about choosing intuitively do so guys do whatever that makes you so happy so from my left it's going to be group one group two and group three okay guys this is going to be a general reading so take whatever that resonates with you and leave the rest so now let us get started with group number one so let us see what do people say the moment that you leave the room group one so we have here wow say what you mean number 18 so i am saying that it's a lot of our uh, coldness perhaps this could be someone or this could be actually people that quite disagreeing with what you have to say you have something to say you perhaps have said or it's it can be even talks about your existence here group one there could be people kind of dislike your existence i'm not sure why is it but there's a lot of coldness here if you can see there's a snow here so there's a lot of coldness here uh this could be even someone that perhaps not allowing you to get closer to them so this could be someone that you might be working with you might be collaborating with uh, this person is around your vicinity this person could be someone that you know through a group of people some sort of a social uh, social some social group or something here i'm i'm getting an energy of uh, this person could be rolling their eyes when you have something to say so the, um I am picking up uh, people definitely feel very much intimidated or challenged also uh, because uh, they have to agree. There is some sort of uh, alluring energy coming from you, group one. So these people feel very much, uh, I would say, lack. They perhaps feel lack, left out. They feel like their voice is not heard. <coughs> Maybe people are uh, people are listening to you or people are kind of giving you more attention or listening to you or even believing you more perhaps it's because of your beauty that could be one of the things that i'm getting but it is uh, undeniable about your beauty here group one uh, because it's the energy of uh, discomfort coming from this person this person feels very discomfort but it's actually their own projection here so these people could be actually might be actually gossiping about you that is the major energy i'm getting so we have your soul retrieval so i'm getting here you could be totally different from whoever that you are dealing with right so people could see that you are someone that actually dying to fly like you are all about hope you all about uh, adventure you want to try something new it's you want stability you like stability but at the same time you want to uh, venture out you want to try something new it's all about the wings it's all about the freedom you perhaps someone like a freedom lover you perhaps give a lot of freedom to others also you do not judge others so they they see all of that definitely and with the eyes this could be people actually kind of zooming and zoom in uh, towards every word each word that you might actually utter with them because they are trying to either find fault in what you are what you have to say or there could be people that just trying to retrieve something i'm getting an energy of retrieval something here guys retrieval so let us see okay group one number 22 could be significant here or we have the full energy guys group one yes it's all about uh venturing out that's the energy here you are someone who don't are not afraid to say or you are kind of in the energy of you have nothing to lose 
and it's really uh, they are so scared of you I have to say it is a because they have a lot of things online so uh, in the line so they would not be able to uh, speak or freedomly speak or say things as like what you might what you are doing sorry so uh, I'm also getting an energy of impulsivity so these people could even say that you might be acting from your impulses here like you could be very harsh or quite blunt or for some you are not as per what you are saying group one yep or for some uh, these people could even say that you might be surrounded with people just in order to in uh, surrounded with some sort of a people here that might be a bit lazy or someone that might be out of your league you are intentionally doing that so that you will stand out okay it's a very strong energy group one number 49 number 18 or 22 could be significant group one so this is what i have for you group two we have your rejection number 13 so there's a lot of sadness coming from you group two okay perhaps people are thinking there might be something happening in your life um but but you are not trying to uh, find a solution here you are in the energy of depressed uh, you are working hard you perhaps a workaholic maybe this is your colleague or someone around you seeing you that you are actually grieving maybe through your uh, face maybe it's really hard maybe you are going through some sort of a death moment right now like something come came to an end in your life so these people could see like the time stand still maybe uh, these people could even say that you are wasting your time like you are not making any progress in your personal life i have to say this is your personal life maybe you are still thinking about some sort of a connection which is long gone like you don't have the courage to embark into a more adventurous journey like you do not want to take the jump into the unknown here uh, maybe it's for some this could be even people are saying that you're wasting your age or your beauty here or you just waiting for something here why don't you just move on and enjoy your life but uh they have to agree right regardless you are pushing through in a way that you are still doing what you have to do which is i'm saying work or business or studying you are still doing it but just your love life is kind of holding back so when you leave the room these people are talking about that group too i have to say so we have the win yeah it's about the energy the aura that you are bringing in maybe they are saying that your aura is quite uh, melancholic it's quite sad um, as if like you are totally withdrawn you are in your own world you are there but you are not there kind of an energy here uh, they are maybe um, if you are in a group of discussion or anything these people could actually see that you might be start to daydream or they feel like you are totally uh, zone out that's the energy here or sometimes these people feel very much uh, disconnected with you because they think that they can't really connect with you because uh, they're not sure on how to be with uh, how to be around you group two so let us see we have seven of cups yeah it's a lot of confusion here group two these people actually see the potential that you hold these people could see that you have a lot of prospect or you can attract a lot of prospect or you are a person that can be very abundant if this is not a love situation or something this can be even about a job right you are literally uh, undermining your uh, or like underestimating your potential here and you not allowing uh, the changes to take place in your life you are trying to control and it's impacting your health for some this can be about your health but somehow it's all about your mood your energy your health is kind of really depressing or sad or like really weighing you down and these people could see this so these people are talking like you are doing something just for the sake of doing but not really enjoying it 
even in the moment that you have a lot of opportunity a lot of path is open even these people could see the the thing is that you just not seizing uh, the opportunity here so you could be a scorpio or you might be dealing with a scorpio or you are going through a dark night of a soul right now group two um yeah they are seeing you that you are going through a quite a rough phase of your life group three so let us see here we have self-sabotage number two wow so this is a quite interesting energy here these people could feel like sometimes you put yourself in some sort of a spot here you're very intelligent these people could not uh deny that these people uh you are attractive you are so attractive uh seductive at the same time it's not just about physical attraction but it also talk about your mind how amazingly it works you could be very creative here but sometimes these people feel like you intentionally put yourself in some sort of a sport here that can actually self-sabotage your own light you might have a strong water sign pisces cancer scorpio or these people could see you that you are so much in your divine uh, feminine energy uh, but this divine feminine energy is something that they are seeing to be uh, quite distorted i would say because they feel like you are letting certain things to cloud your judgment maybe uh, you you might say something and you will do something maybe that's what this the, the people are saying that people can't really uh, trust your word we have your upper one yeah there could be someone who's actually helping you these people are talking about it these people could actually there are could be people saying that uh, sometimes they see that the way how you speak the way how you act or something about you that they these people could see that you you are doing it as if like you you are self-sabotaging but somehow you escape or you come out of the situation as if there are people there is there there could be literally someone there is actually helping you This is quite an interesting um, group here. But there is an innocent here. There is an innocent here. These people are confused because they are not sure. Are you really who you are showing to them? So there is a confusion here. So the moment that you leave the room, these people are actually trying to dissect. Uh, not about what you have said or whatever happened actually it's all about you these people could not able to decode who you are because uh there is a lot of uh i would say confusion clouds around the situation here we have a page of pentacles here yeah like you are a great manifester maybe you you able to to uh, manifest or uh, attract a lot of great things great things it's a lot of blessings you know sometimes people see that uh you maybe people people tend to see that you don't really hold much or uh, you don't have uh, maybe there's a lot of emptiness like you don't have what it takes but eventually you pull it off and it will come in that uh more amazing way maybe this could be literally very beautiful ideas you could actually create it more beautifully here so uh there's an immature energy maybe they might be feeling that you tend to act quite immaturely or you are fighting something or you could actually yeah it's more than you either say something immaturely act immaturely or you tend to say something controversial or something that can cause chaos but eventually the outcome is favoring you and they are really um they are not sure about you <laughs> they they there is a they can't really say is it you or something or that could be even there's someone here there is someone definitely there's someone here who's actually helping you 
group 3 they are talking about this let us see who's this person here we have ace of cup yeah this could be a new love or this person my whole a uh, very soft uh, spot for you this could be someone uh, actually trying to really be a great support for you you know or yeah so uh, these people are talking about this that you are acting so or you are being you in the light of this person here group three so this uh, we have number 33 Number one, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn could be significant here. For some, I have to say, people could even say that you might be using your physical uh, attraction to attract things, this, uh, this favorable outcome towards you, group three. So this is what I have for you guys. I really hope this reading resonates with you. Let me know. Till then, I will see you on my next reading, guys. Bye.